Hi, my name is Maria Elena. I am the Dream Site Coordinator here in Proviso for West 40. West 40 serves the Proviso area in many different ways through many different grants and ALOP programs. We are happy to have our state legislators come visit State Representative Willis and Senator Lightford to be here to, to show off our programs, uh, to show off our students, and to celebrate the successes of our programs, but also to grow our programs. Is Ashanti's display all of these things times 10? She is an amazing student. She's an amazing student to work with. Hi, I'm Monique Holloway. I am the area director for the Proviso ALOP programs. Today we had District 209 and West 40 staff come to show support to students as they share their views about the ALOP programs and how successful it has been and the benefits of the program. West 40 has been working very hard to get legislators to understand the importance of funding for students who are at risk and who need support in order to be successful in school and out of school. The students are actually, the students are giving the representatives the tour. Um, we're going to start here and show them the peace program. What's your goal? What do you want to get finished? Four more classes to go. Then I'm done. Ooh, ooh. Terrific. <laughs> yeah. right. And then you're doing what? Like my classes? Have you thought about what's, what's the next step? Oh, college. Yeah, you know, I've been applying to college. I just applied to Lincoln Clock College and Mr. Bernard helped me with my FAFSA. Um, they will also visit our Seniors Plus program, which is for students who have missed their graduation date but still have an opportunity to gain their high school diploma. Okay, they showed us how they, they took time out of their day to show us how to do resumes. They helped us, you know, update our resumes. And and then we're going to go into the room and have like a, a circle to share about why the students are here, how they like it here. When I started freshman year, I really didn't even know what credits were. So that kind of brought me down. I started talking to one of the counselors over there and then I started getting my work done and I started staying like after school and then I did summer school. Our tape. Coordinator Nancy Debris will be giving a presentation on the TAP services. She will have her TAP counselors there as well who will share their experience of serving on the TAP grant. Then from there they're going to move into the main building and they'll come up to the dream room which is for students who are critically credit deficient and in the dream room we're going to have students talk about their experiences. We're going to have a panel and the students selected on the panel are I think they're all seniors who have a different variety of experiences and why they're there. You you gonna make it, you can do it. All, you, it's just all about the positive thoughts. If you think negative, then nothing but bad things gonna happen. Once you think positive, that's when all the good stuff gonna come. So you gotta think positive in order to stay on task and be focused and move on. I think our students go uncelebrated sometimes and the ALEP programs are magical. We have a great way of reaching these students in ways that other the school and other programs haven't been able to reach them. We are able to pull the potential out of our kids and our students thrive in our programs and I think that it's important to share their stories because their stories are just as important as everybody else's and we want them to feel heard and feel important and feel valued and that's what we do here with our students. Yeah, we just want to thank the legislators, Senator Leifer and Representative Willis for coming over, for taking some time out of their busy schedule to learn about our programs and to share a little bit with our students about their history and the things they're doing for our community. Our students are our heartbeat and it's important to highlight who they are representing when they are down in Springfield and voting on our behalf. We want them to know what they are fighting for because our students need them to fight for them.